You do. Maybe it has I happened do. a little yeah, bit. It's happened, twice. but yeah, yeah. Because once I trust against Kessler, I thought you were waging war a little bit too much, and then you got hold no, of your senses. Enzo got hold no, of you. No, but that wasn't. That wasn't. That was. That was calculated. I went in to, to test him out, and obviously, I thought but the guy's pretty strong, and he caught me some good shots. So I thought, yeah. you know, I'm going to revert back to my boxing. But years ago, I would have probably stayed toe to toe, and thought, wait, yeah, I can knock this guy out. Yeah. So I realised straight away, and bang, and, and this after the fourth round, when I reverted to my boxing. I think I won about five rounds in a row. He didn't have a clue. I would say, wait, this is a, this end fight was in the last round. So my adaptability, obviously, is, is always been there. But, but well, I'm a bit immature years ago. <coughs> my emotions used to get the better of me. But what I mean is, like, this has come at the right time now in America. Because I'm 36 now. I'm a lot more experienced. And things don't get to me like I used to. And I'm just a character. Like, I'm just a lot calmer character than I used to be. I'm not in a real, I just, you know, everything is said just goes over my head. So sure. I'm more relaxed and that's why probably why my performances have been a lot better because I, I am more, a lot more relaxed than me. Who are the fighters over the years have you admired most? Yeah, my favourite fighters as I was uh, growing up were um, probably uh, Marvin Hagler. Yeah. Marvin Hagler, um, um, Sugar Ray Leonard. They're my favourite fighters, and then uh, Julio Cesar Chavez, so I love him, fighting. Um, the last maybe 10 years, I thought Roy Jones Jr. was um, um, immense. Who beat Hopkins, of course. Yeah, the Roy Jones Jr. is in the middleweight suit, middleweight, like heavy, you know, before you started going downhill for a couple of years, he just looked unbeatable. It's tremendous speed, I used to love watching him, his style. Do you wish in a way you were a heavyweight? Of course. That's where <laughs> a lot more money yeah. and a lot easier. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, but, uh, you know, no, to be honest, I, I honestly think that I could fight, you know, not Klitschko, big guy, but a couple of the other champions, the Russian, the Russian guys, I think that um, if you give me six months and put on a couple of stone arms, you think I could beat them? Really? Or give them a good fight? Well, yeah. Well, of course, Rocky Rubbish. Marciano was heavyweight champion, not weighing much more than you are today. Exactly, I know. Different times, though. Yeah, different times, man. <laughs> I wouldn't want to take a shot of old Marciano, he's a big puncher, wasn't he? This is a beautiful place to come up in the summer, this is. You never lose your uh, your love for being in this part of the world, for Wales, huh? Oh, no, at the end of the day, you know, this is where I've been brought up all my life, and uh, I love it, and, uh, you know, I love to travel as well, so after, obviously after I finish boxing, you know, I get a lot more time to do other things and see the world, but I'll always have a home here. This is, this is where I've always been from. I love it. It's, um, you know, when I'm here, you know, I'm just Joe. You know, I'm just you know, Joe, the world champion. Yeah. You know, the, the star. I'm, I'm just Joe, so I can walk. I can walk down my town and get a paper and pop in a shop and not be harassed and just say, "Oh, what's happening?" And, and I love that. You know, I, you know, I love, I love that. So um, after a fight, I go home and I live as nice and private in the country. And I just don't get bothered. And I love that. So it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. We there yet? No, you got to you try a bit quicker if you want, you just got to... Come on, Charlie, <laughs> take put your foot down. You can take ages to get up there otherwise, man. Seriously, you got to drive up my mind then. Uh, I'll run out of questions. <laughs> <laughs> but it'd be a marked contrast, won't it, from Las Vegas to the hills of Wales and the valleys, eh? What, yeah. what a contrast that'll be for you. Yeah, I know, yeah, but... Good, looking forward to it. Things go colder this year. I'm looking forward to getting uh, some sun on my back. That's, that's You'll need it, yeah. Well, don't play too much money on those gambling tables when you win the fight, by the way. The following nah. fight, I don't want you in there losing all that money, yeah? No, nah, I'm interested on the old uh, cards. I can't really play them, so I'm not bothered. The horses are like a bet on. We're betting the horses and dogs. You do? <laughs> Only a little bit, yeah, a bit yeah. of fun. Just, just for a laugh. Okay, but yeah, nothing, nothing serious. You know, all these guys just say bang loads of money and that. Because you've been to Vegas before, haven't you? you yeah, um, I was Hatton supposed. I was supposed to have boxed in 2000. Uh, yeah. What happened? I got injured again, <laughs> and um, that was on the uh, Oscar De La Hoya against Felix Trinidad. We still went over there, and um, so watched Had the a look fight. Around and yeah, yeah, you know, to get a sample for it, and thought, yeah, I'd love to fight you one day. Then, obviously, you went over for um, for Ricky's fight against Mayweather. Saw a tremendous, uh, tremendous atmosphere and the buzz around the town, and that's it. Uh, you know, I definitely figured uh, 
be great to fight here. If you had the fight plan now in your mind, exactly what, what do you think might happen? What would you would like to happen? What, how would I just want to fight, you know, uh, an excellent fight. You know, um, preferably a clean fight. Obviously, that's going to be asking something with Hopkins. Um, you know, just just fight, just to fight my fight. I'll you know, show good. You know, I'll class the guy. Show him my boxing skills. You know, don't get, uh, don't fight a messy fight. Get dragged into a scruffy fight. I want, you know, obviously, I love it to be an entertaining fight for the fans, but also show my boxing skills. Not just yes. show my heart and my fight, and, like I've shown in the past, but show my skills. That, you know, I still believe that I am. You know, there's still more meat to come. But obviously, we all love to knock the opponents out. I haven't done that much lately. <laughs> In the last few is years, that because of your hands or? Yeah, I think a lot of it's to do with my hands, you know, I sort of changed my style. I used, I used to... Uh, and the quality of opponent, by the way. Yeah, quality of opponent, but there is, you know, and anybody who could pull you back on their ass at the end of the day is uh, going to hit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, over the years, I suppose my style, I, I just, uh, I used speed a lot more. I used to sit on my punches and look for the big left hand a lot, and every time I do that now, it seems to hit my hand <laughs> in a fight, so... You know, I just uh, revert back to skills and, and my speed and, and movement and stuff. Yeah. So. so that still works for me, so that's good. You know, so. Now, is your gym down there somewhere? Yeah. Where is it? You can spot the gym. Let's see if the camera boys can... Yeah, there you go. If you look oh. at that rugby field. Ah, oh, right down there. There's sort of a little hut thing right down yeah, in the corner. Is that's that, it. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, it, it, that's, it, that's, it, the gym. that's where the work's done, huh? That's it. I think our dad's waiting outside waving up. Just, is it, just rung it, in. Come back, so come back and go to work. <laughs> When you go into the ring, do you ever experience you experience nerves? Obviously, a bit of anxiety. I'm sure of that. What about fear? No, no never fear. Never experience any fear. Um, the only fear I have is fear of losing. Because I want, I want to win so bad. I want to be a champion. I love being a champion, and that's the only fear: fear of losing. Yeah, you know, fear no no man, no no um, no fighter. It's just that's pain. it. That's a, yeah, you don't feel pain. You don't feel pain when you're in the ring. You know, um, adrenaline's a Taking it's a painkiller, you know, so uh, no, you don't feel, listen, I'd rather be boxing a lot than <laughs> playing rugby and do a lot of other sports. Listen, i got mates who busted kneecaps and busted head and busted ears. I think, you know, look at my face and me, I think I've done 25 years in boxing, I'm pretty, pretty glad. I mean, blessed, you know, that uh, being able to look after myself in the ring, you know, so uh, the only problem they ever have is my hands. But that's something that I've always had. And, and this time? With, I've always, listen, I've always had bad hands, you know, mainly my left hand, that's always been a problem. And sometimes it comes back in the fight, sometimes it doesn't. You have to remember you wear 10 ounce gloves in the fight and if you punch a guy in the wrong part of his body on, on the head or the, or the elbows, my hand's going to go. It's just something that's, you know, boxing since age nine is a weakness of God. Sometimes, you know, you hit him in the right place, it's okay. You know, with Kessler, I was, I was fine. Obviously, they're in the right place. So uh, with Hopkins, I have to make sure I pick my punches. You know, like the, the, the difference is now, I think I pick my punches more I'm not going to go in there like a whirlwind and try and take the guy out first round because that's what he's going to expect and that's when you make mistakes. So I just use my speed. You know, he struggles with fast guys. He struggled. He lost to Roy Jones. Oh, Jermaine Taylor was a close fight, but I'm faster than Jermaine Taylor and I'm better fight than Jermaine Taylor. So, you know, I, I see me win this fight comfortably, even maybe not knocking him out. If I knock him out, I think it'd be a late stoppage, but um, I fancy winning this guy. Joe, do you ever, <coughs> I know you, you never talk about it really, but do you ever, deep in your mind, consider defeat? Do you ever consider the possibility No, I never defeat? consider it. I don't know what defeat is, can't you spell the word? <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long. No, I don't. Um, <coughs> any human being would uh, obviously some, somehow think what would happen if I do. Of course, of course you do. No matter what, how big the fight is, how small the fight is. You know, you always, you know, it comes across your mind. But you, I wouldn't dwell on it, or I'll never think I would do. You think, oh well, how would I handle it if I did? But then I wipe her away pretty quick. Just I thought it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lose, you know, I, that's the way I think. Tell us about the relationship w between you and your dad now, you and Enzo. I mean, it must be difficult for him <coughs> at times if a fight's going a little bit against you. It happens occasionally, he's going against you, for him to kind of be concerned <coughs> about you, be protective of you. Yeah, well, you know, he's, he's great <coughs> in the corner. You know, um, he's very passionate, as you can, uh, as, you, as you probably realise. And uh, when I've had a few bad rounds, you know, he, he probably makes it sound worse than it actually is, to be honest, you know. And it gives you a little slap on the face sometimes. Uh, yeah, he always says the right things. Do you, you answer know. back to him? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's all reacting a little bit to some things, but um, that's probably what I need to hear. You know, I don't need somebody too calm. You know, I need somebody, like some sort of passionate, fiery person myself. I probably need somebody with the same sort of 
you know, personality to make me register. Uh-huh. Like, you know, that you need to do something or that was a bad round. So it's not, you know, so actually Papa tell me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, probably like, <laughs> slap on the, on the ear sort of thing. 